Josh with Scout Reviews. And I'm Travis. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. Hey, welcome to Scout Reviews. I'm Josh. And I'm Travis. Today, we're treating ourselves a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing some Elijah Craig bourbon. Now, this one, this we know is delicious. This is the Barrel Proof. It's uh, Barrel 521, or it's, however it's said, it's Batch 521. Bravo 521. So that's 118 proof. Utterly delicious. We're going to compare it against the Elijah Craig Private Barrel barrel pick of, for Total Wine here in Houston. Now, it's 135.7 on proof. So this is a little beefier. Should be fun. So, should be fun. It's a little hot, maybe. Um, I have faith. I think it'll be good. We're doing this backwards. We've never had that one. So we should start with it. All right. Unless you want to refresh it. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm going to go dive right into the deep end here. All right. Well, you can pour then. Now, we just opened this. Nice. I love the, the wooden cork. The wood plug with the cork. Yes, you do. Now, pour, Elijah actually. Craig is a Jim Beam product. Now, this particular one has been aged for nine years. Yep, nine years. Barrel proof, uncut, straight from the barrel. Ooh. Wow. Mm, that smells good. Yeah, I get a strong bourbon nose on that one. Um... A lot of spice, leather, wood, little 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 smoke in little there. Chocolate, little cherry, oh, yeah. orange. Mm. We're just gonna keep saying stuff until everybody's like, "Yeah, I picked that up too." We can get that one. So so we're covered. But it's a strong nose on that. I can get that alcohol in there. I definitely get the alcohol in there. Gets me right up that left nostril. Yeah, <laughs> it's strong. It's absolutely strong, <clears throat> but at 100 and almost 40 proof, it should be. Yeah. Yeah, 135.7. That is some powerful stuff. All right. I'm ready to try this. Me too. All right. It sure tingles the mouth. Quite a bit. That first sip, kind of a slap in the face. Mm-hmm. A little bit. It's good, though. It's a little bit stronger than what we're used to. Some powerful stuff. I'm getting great flavors, but for me, because I'm not used to it, it's a little too much on the proof. <clears throat> I agree with you, though. It comes on real strong. It's just hot. Great flavors. Well, it doesn't help that it's 105 degrees outside, so when you have something that's, you know, almost 140 proof, it definitely um, warms you up a bit. So, for me, it's a little too hot. It's really good, though. Um, I would get used to it. I like the powerful flavor. Um, I'm missing a lot of stuff because I'm not used to it. I agree with you on that. And also, I'm not getting... I think the the, 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 the heat in it is overwhelming any of the mouthfeel there is. One of the things I recall about this one, and we'll revisit this one in a minute here, is the, uh, the mouthfeel. I really like the mouthfeel combined with the flavor of that. The heat from this one is kind of overwhelming... Yeah, it's that. Um, it's good. 
it's something I would want to probably work up to. Experiment more. with more, yeah. yeah. Maybe water it. We'll see what that what's what we think of that. I don't know. No, I don't want to do that. I, I know. I just need to drink more higher proof drinks to adjust to it a little bit more. Because you're mm -hmm. because once upon a time this was too much. Yeah, it's true. You know? Now I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, give me some. You want less? Mm, sure. Hmm. Pour it easy. It does. Now this is the barrel proof. It's been aged 12 years. 118 on the proofy proof. Well, I mean, right off the bat, I can tell you the nose. Tell by the nose, it has lower alcohol content. Mm. <laughs> well, it's a lot clearer. All the, all the complexity, the scent, the sense, mm. the flavors. Mm. There we go. That's yeah. the word I was. This is this for. is heavyweight, and again, we're going to go back to that heavy middleweight title that we talked about. You know, I mean, it's st it's a still a barrel proof. It is. It's just it. it there's a huge difference, absolutely. Chocolate orange. Oh yeah. Leather. The wood barrel. I love the color on this too. The caramel flavor, a little vanilla. I mean, everything I know is there that I'm not able to smell because of the mm -hmm. alcohol, I'm able to get in this. Agreed. Uh, so. I am ready to drink some more of this. <clears throat> I swallowed wrong. So many jokes. <clears throat> it's a rookie mistake right there. <clears throat> I mean, this is, you remember the green nuts? This is that type of situation, and I am not going to. <clears throat> I applaud you. I applaud you. It's, <coughs> it's literally hard. I'm not going to touch that either. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay. So, chocolate, blood orange, that's what I get on the citrus for this. Uh, Absolutely. Like burnt. Blood orange, maybe. Um, a little vanilla. <clears throat> you get the the wood from the barrel. You, you get the caramel. Got that vanilla in there. It's the leather, the cigar smoke. It's it's <clears throat> that's an excellent bottle. It is, and again, get the mouthfeel on that. This might be almost drowning myself. Um, the mouthfeel is quite good. I didn't say anything. But you're thinking it. Um, <laughs> but the alcohol is not overwhelming that that luscious not that you're, you're you're expecting. And the one of the things I really appreciate about this specific bottle, it does have a very powerful bourbon profile. Um, but it's not unpleasant. It's not overwhelming. It's not uh, unapproachable. Now, if we had led with this, it would feel a lot harder than this. Mm -hmm. But because we went. With this first, this it's almost like nothing. True. When it comes to the heat. Mm hmm So I just really like the buttery smooth mouthful on this, along with the with the flavor profile. It's very strong. It's very bold. It's like he's daring me. I am. I really am. Um, but at the same time, it's very pleasant. It's very uh, very easy to drink. This is one of my top five bottles, I would say. Yeah, it's great. <clears throat> uh, any jokes that you can think of with everything he's saying, please put in the comments, and I will not remove them. I will free them so that everyone can see. <clears throat> Make sure you misspell certain words incorrectly on purpose. Um, Thanks. Target. Thanks. You're welcome. <sighs> I mean, I did choke on it, so.
<laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Just give me material, guys. <laughs> like low hanging fruit over here. All right. <laughs> That's going to be it for us, I believe. Mm. You got anything else? No. Um, if you like <clears throat> extra hot bourbon, extra spicy, go ahead and grab that. Um, if you want to start at a barrel proof that's very approachable, I would recommend that. I think they're both around the same price. Yes, about 80 bucks. Yeah. I would say this is a is out of my expertise at the moment. It is. Same here. Um, same for mine. But I would have said the same thing about this six months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. So it's definitely something to work towards. The if that's all you have, that's all I have. Yep. Then like, comment, subscribe, please. Uh, don't drink and drive. Be a good person. And uh, I'm Josh. I'm Travis. And this is Scout Reviews. Take care. Bye.